So, 1 solve each of the following limit. So, A, limit x approaching negative 2. So, 8 plus 2x minus x square divided by 8 minus 2x square. So, in this case, usually when you have fraction, so you have to factorize. Why? Because if you haven't factorized and you direct substitute, you can see that you are getting this one. So this is, this means that you have a common factor that needs to be eliminated. So here you factorize first so that you can see which one you can eliminate. So here the first one, so 8 plus 2x minus x square, you can also get negative x square plus 2x plus 8. So you can take negative out x square minus 2x minus 8. So 8 is 4 times 2 and you see that negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So negative, so this one would be x minus 4, x plus 2, this one. So limit x approaching negative 2, negative x minus 4, x plus 2. So you see here for the below one, so you have 8 minus 2 x square. So you can take out 2, right? So you have 4 minus x square. So you see here 4 minus x square is equal to 2 square minus x square. So we can see this one is in the form that a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b, a minus b. So here you get 2, 2 minus x, 2 plus x. See here? So this one is 2, 2 minus x, 2 plus x. Plus 2, this one is x plus 2. 2 plus x, so you can cancel out. So you see here, after you cancel out the common difference, then you can substitute. So now negative, x is equal to negative 2, right? So negative 2 minus 4, you substitute this one, divided by 2, 2 minus negative 2. So here you get, so negative, negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6, divided by, this one is 2, 2 minus minus, you get, Four. So, 6 over 8, which is 3 over 4. So, B, limit x approaching 0. So, 1 plus x plus x square minus 1 divided by x. So, we see here this one is 0. You substitute, you get over 0, which cannot be done. Lah. So, here you must multiply with conjugate. So, what does it mean by conjugate? So, you see here you have set A plus B. When you multiply with set A minus B, you see here, when you multiply this one, you will get set A square minus B square. So, see, the symbol needs to be opposite so that here you can remove the set. So, this is what we, this is what we mean by conjugate. So, this is, this is minus, you see here. So, we multiply with the same, this one. So, this one is 1 plus x plus x square. Since this one is minus, so this one is plus 1. So, below should be multiply the same thing. Plus 1. So, here you get limit x approaching 0. So, you see here this one and this one is the same. So, you ended up have 1 plus x plus x square. You square minus 1 square. Divided by, so x multiplied by third, 1 plus x plus x square plus 1. So here, limit x approaching 0, so third and square can be cut off. So we have 1 plus x plus x square minus 1. Divided by x third, 1 plus x plus x square plus 1. So... Okay, 1 minus 1 is So, limit x approaching 0. So, now we, do, we, don't have, we have x and x square. So, we can take out x. So, x divided by x is 1 plus x. So, divide by x times third. 1 plus x plus x square plus 1. So, you see, you can cut off x and x. So, here you can substitute x is equal to so now you can substitute after you cut the, eliminate the common difference. So here, when x is equal to 0, 1 plus 0, divide by third, 1 plus 0 plus 0 square plus 1, which is 1 divided by, this one is third, 1 plus 1, 
1 plus 1, which is 1 over 2. C, so we see here limit x approaching k is equal to 8. Alright, so we see here when we have this one, so we have limit x approaching k, 9 minus x squared divided by 4 minus 3 x squared plus 7. So it's equal to 8, right? So when we have this one fraction, we have to do conjugate. So you see here, if we um, if we don't eliminate the common factor, we will get this term, which is 0 divided by 0, which cannot be 10. So what you should do is that we should calculate this one first. And then after you substitute, you can compare with 8. So here, you see here you have 4 minus 3, right? So we know that 4, so you know, a minus 3 b times a plus 3 b. So we will get a square minus 3 b square, right? So, this is what we are going to do. Why? Because we wanted to remove the set. You see, when this one is negative, this one is supposed to be positive. So, here A minus B, A plus B is equal to A square minus B square. So, actually, we are using this one to this one, you see, so that we can eliminate the set. So, we see here we have 4 minus here. So, we are supposed to multiply with 4 plus x squared plus 7 and this one would be the same okay so you see here so limit x approaching k you have 9 minus x squared so here you can factorize but never mind i just do it first so this one is 4 plus 3 x squared plus 7 divided by so i have 4 square minus 3 x squared plus 7 Square. So, square and set can be cut off. So, limit x approaching k. So, I have 9 minus x square. So, 4 plus set x square plus 7 divided by. So, I have here 16 minus. So, negative times x square, negative x square. Negative times 7, I get negative 7. So you see your limit, x approaching k, 9 minus x square, 4 plus 3, x square plus 7, divided by 16 minus 7 is 9 minus x square. You see here this one and this one is equal. So but usually when we do this question, we factorize, right? So never mind, if you factorize, also can. And later on, you still have to, you can still cut. So now we have limit x approaching k, 4 plus... So this one is x square plus 7. Jadi, you can substitute this one. K inside x. So you have 4 plus 3. K square plus 7 is equal to. This one is 8. Now you can compare because you have settled this one. So here we have 4 plus 3. K square plus 7 is equal to 8. So you bring 4 to the right. So, so, k square plus 7 is equal to 8 minus 4. You get 4. So, so, when you transfer to the right, it will become square. So, k square plus 7 is equal to 4 square. Right? You transfer the so to the right, it becomes 4 square. So, k square plus 7 is equal to 16. So, k square is equal to, so you bring 7 to the right, 16 minus 7, you get 9. So, k is equal to 9, which is equal to 3. 2. Given the limit a minus 5, x plus 4 is negative 3. Find the value of constant a. So, if you see here, so if you see here, you cannot find a common difference because like this one cannot be factorized, right? So, limit x approaching negative 1, a minus 5 divided by x plus 4 is equal to negative 3. So, we settle down one side. So, x is equal to negative 1. So, we can substitute x is equal to negative 1. So, a minus 5 is equal to x is negative 1 plus 4, then is equal to negative 3. So, here a minus 5 divided by Negative 1 plus 4, you get 3, is equal to negative 3. A minus 5 is equal to 
uh, you bring to the right negative 3 times 3 you is equal to negative 9 and then a is equal to negative 9 plus 5 you bring 5 to the right so you get negative 4 so the value of constant a is negative